everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make these beautiful sugar cookies without using a rolling pin and without that messy floured board. It's something that I figured out many, many years ago and I'm ready to share it with you today. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, you're going to add one cup of butter into a mixer and beat it until it becomes a lighter color. Now add one cup of granulated sugar and mix well. And here you're going to add one whole egg. I always crack my eggs in another bowl so I don't get chills. <laughs> and then in the next egg, you're just going to add the egg yolk. Mix that well. And here you're going to add two teaspoons of your favorite extract. Now here's the trick. You want to add your flour very slowly because every all-purpose flour is different. And sometimes it might take three cups of flour or sometimes it may take four cups of flour to get your dough to separate from the bowl. And once it separates from the bowl, that is when you know that your dough is done. You want a thick, dense dough so that you can roll it out. Now you're going to separate your dough into two balls and place into a plastic bag. Here's the special trick. No roller, just use your hands, touching the bag, flattening it out. I always lift the bag out to make sure I don't get any creases. Smooth it out until about a fourth of an inch thick. And then what you're going to do is take a pan and just press down so you get nice, even. And here I'm showing you the second bag. Both of these bags are going to go into the refrigerator, not the freezer, into the refrigerator for up to two hours. When that's done, you're going to cut open the bag along the sides of the bag. Again, no roller and no floured board. Isn't this amazing? Go ahead and cut it all open. And now you're ready to use your cookie cutters. If you're using many cookie cutters, then I like to lay them all out like a puzzle piece so that I don't waste dough. It's kind of fun to see what cookie cutters fit on just one. Usually you can get anywhere from eight to 10 cookies on one sheet of dough. Then place them on a baking sheet. Kids love to help. You're going to bake at 350 degrees for 12 minutes, and then you're ready to decorate. Isn't this the most amazing trick? Our cookie kits are amazing. Go to kidsbakingclub.com.